الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وبعد ما أدري أبرز السّترز السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I want to remind myself and you of a very important thing that relates to our conditions, the global conditions that we as Muslims find ourselves in in different countries where we live. And these conditions, as you know, are uh, very difficult from being completely almost impossible to uh, ranging between that and things which are difficult but not so impossible. Basically, difficult times, trials, tribulations, tests that we as a community, Muslims, are facing globally. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mercy uh, in helping us to move through this into times which are, which are better for all of us. I remind myself and you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> told us why these conditions happen and what we need to do if we want to save ourselves from these situations. In, in the Surah Al-Rum, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, زَهَرَ الْفَسَادُ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِ النَّاسِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the fasad, the trials, the tribulations, the difficulties that are on the sea and on the land are the result of the actions that come from the hands of people. بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِ النَّاسِ We earn these, we work for these, and these are payment for our actions. And why does why do this happen? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that as well. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, so that the people who are creating these difficulties, and by this it doesn't mean any specific people, it means human beings as a whole, and definitely we Muslims as part of those human beings who are the recipients of the Quran al Karim. So therefore we are supposed to know better. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that these conditions that you find yourselves in, the difficulties that you find yourselves in are the result and the creation of your own actions. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows these difficulties to happen so that you can get a taste of the punishment that you are trying to earn for yourself. And why that? So that you can turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will be saved from this, from this punishment. In Surah Al-Sajda, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this in another way, where, he, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jalla Jalalu, He said, وَلَنُزِيقَنَّهُمْ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ الْأَدْنَى دُونَ الْعَذَابِ الْأَكْبَرِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ The same thing, which is that Allah said, we give them a small punishment before the big punishment, so that they turn towards us. Meaning that if we turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the big punishment will not happen. To give you an analogy to understand this, if a child extends his or her hand towards a fire. The mother will slap the wrist. It's a gentle tap, but it hurts. And the reason for this hurt is because the hurt of the burn from the fire will be much more. Who is doing that? The one who loves the child. The one who is concerned about the child. He is actually hurting the child so that the child saves himself or herself from punishment which is much more severe, from hurt which will be much more painful and much more longer lasting. And this is, this is the analogy to explain why these trials and tribulations that come actually come as a result of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to turn us towards himself so that we can live a life which is uh, better in this world for ourselves and for others as well as save ourselves from the punishment in the hereafter for as the consequence of our actions. So therefore we need to think about this and say we are in difficulties so what must we do? As I explained to you here uh, the reason for the difficulties Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained to us and that reason is we ourselves. I'm not saying that everything bad in the world is a result of Muslims or Muslims' actions. I'm talking about humanity as a whole, of which we Muslims are a part. And all that is bad in the world, is ha which is happening, is as a result of the actions of human beings. We have global warming, we have uh, climate change, we have uh, a shortage of water, we have destruction of habitat, we have animal species which are disappearing at a very alarming rate, which will come back to affect us in a very bad way. We have wars, we have suffering, we have poverty, we have a huge gap between the haves and the have-nots. There's this com complete, uh, completely insane situation where a minuscule part of the population of this world 
owns resources uh, which, are, which are more than the resources owned by 50% or more of the world. All of these uh, can be traced back to the actions of human beings. They are not pinpointing anyone, not pinpointing even the Muslims. I'm just saying that we are part of, we are part of the problem. And therefore, if we want to solve the problem, we have to become part of the solution. Now, what is the solution? In my view, there are two things that must be done if we want to get out of these difficulties. The first one, again, we go back to the Quran. The Quran is the best guide. The Quran is the Kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the best guidance that anyone can ever have. And this comes to us through the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Habib Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And that is what we follow. We follow the Quran and we follow the tafsir, the living proof and the living demonstration of the meaning of the Quran, which is the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So therefore Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained to us the reason. Now what must we do? As I said, two things. First one is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again advised us in the Quran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna Allaha ya'muru bil adli wa lihsan. We hear this ayat in Jumu'ah. Every Juma, everywhere in the world, we hear this ayat at the end of the second khutbah. In Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsan wa ita'i zil qurba wa yanha'anil fashai wal munkari wal baghi ya'izukum la'allakum dadakarun. I'm not going into the whole ayah. I'm looking only at the first two things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, In Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsan. Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you to be just, to establish justice, and then to do more than that. Wal ihsan. Excellence. Justice is to do what is required. Justice is to give what is due to whoever it is due to. Justice is to give what is due to the environment, to the world, to the atmosphere, to the water, to the resources of this world. Justice is to give what is due to the birds and the animals and the trees and the plants. Justice is to give what is due to the human beings of this world, irrespective of who they might be. No boundary of caste or creed or culture or race or religion or uh, nationality. There is absolutely no boundary whatsoever. There is no discriminatory factor in the establishment of justice as per Islam. Justice in Islam is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is just for one person is exactly the same thing which is considered as just for another person, no matter what that person the, between the two, no matter what the difference might be, I, in any way, justice means the same. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore said, Inna Allah ya'muru bil adl. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, establish justice. Now what is justice? Justice is to give what is due in our frame of reference. If I'm working in an organization, justice is to ensure that I work for the salary, for the money that I get, that I, I make sure that my productivity, that my output is equal to the salary that I'm being paid, that I am giving at least that much. What is justice in a marriage? Justice in a marriage is to ensure that we fulfill the rights of our spouse. Many people come to me and say, and, and they ask me, they said, what are my rights? I tell them, think about your duties, don't think about your rights, because your duties you will be questioned upon, you will not be questioned about your rights. So what must a person do? Make sure that you fulfill the rights of the other, which is our duties. So therefore, justice is to fulfill the rights of the spouse. Justice is to fulfill the rights of children. What is the rights of a child? What are the rights of children? The first and foremost and most important right of the child is that the child gets a safe environment at home and gets a very good moral upbringing and guidance. This is justice as far as children are concerned. Rights of parents. What are the rights of parents? That they be served, that they be obeyed, that they be honored and respected for what they have given us. Justice means give, give the rights to the countries and the states that we live in. What does that mean? It means follow the law. It means do not try to, 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 to subvert or, or bypass the law of the land. The law of the land must be followed. What is the meaning of justice as far as uh, our neighbors are concerned? Make sure that I, as a Muslim, I'm not the cause of any discomfort whatsoever. I'm not even using the word harm because that's, that's serious. I'm talking about discomfort, that I as a Muslim am not a means or source of discomfort to my neighbor in any way whatsoever. And as I said, as I said earlier, 
This applies irrespective of whether that neighbor is a Muslim. The, the, the uh, concept of justice in Islam is one, which is justice is to do and to give what is due to the other, whoever that other might be. So, inna Allah yamuru bil adl. Wal ihsan, we will look at that uh, 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 next to say what is the meaning of ihsan and why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say adl, which is justice, and then he said ihsan. To come back to, inshallah, we come back to, uh, on, on that post, uh, uh, on the subject of Hassan. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyil kareem wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain bi rahmatika ya rahman rahimin.